There are also vector spaces of polynomials. So let's take Pn to be the polynomials of degree less than or equal to 2. So this looks like a constant plus a linear term plus a quadratic term, where each of those coefficients is required to be a real number. And because of that, sometimes this is denoted um, P2 of R to indicate where the coefficients are coming from. And I just realized I made a mistake over here. And this should have been, uh, that should have been 2, not n. So these are the polynomials of degree 2. OK. So let's see. So <coughs> first off, um, is 0 in there? Well, if I take a0 and a1 and a2 to be equal to 0, then I get the 0 polynomial. So 0 is definitely in there. Um, now, what if I let, um, f and g both be uh, quadratic polynomials. OK, so then I know that uh, f is going to look like um, a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared for some choice of coefficients ai. And that g is going to look like b0 plus b1x plus b2 x squared for some coefficients bi. So if I do f plus g, uh, then you can see pretty readily that when I collect coefficients of like terms, this is going to be a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1x plus a2 plus b2x squared. And we definitely know that uh, this term and this term and this term, each of those is a real number. So this guy is again going to be in P2. Um, notice, by the way, that there's a, a good reason why we have this unfortunate um, or less irritating notation on the end. And that's because if I had something like, say, f was like, um, you know, x minus x squared and g was x squared, then f plus g would be equal to x. So the polynomials of degree exactly 2 is not a vector space, because I can have something like this happen and have the sum not have, uh, so the degree of f plus g is not equal to 2. OK, so that could break it. So that's why we have to say or less in the definition. Um, and I still need to check um, that a scalar multiple is a polynomial. But that one you can see pretty much right off. Is going to give me a polynomial as well. And it's also going to have degree 2 or less, because c is constant, so it's not going to increase the uh, degree of the polynomial. So in general, for any n, pn is a vector space. And you might think for a moment about how if I take an element of, of Pn, like this, it's sort of unnecessary to write the, uh, uh, the um, independent variable all the way through all these expressions. Basically, it's just a, key a placeholder to keep the a0, b0 terms and the a1, b1 terms from getting uh, muddied together, right? So I could actually represent this same polynomial as just the n tuple of numbers, or n plus 1 tuple, rather, because we start at 0. That are their coefficients. And the common way to write that is as a vector. So in terms of just linear structure, we would say that p 
Pn is basically the same as Rn plus 1. Now, that's just in terms of linear algebra, the way they add, the way they scale and multiply. There are differences because, for instance, over here in the polynomial world, we can do things like multiply two polynomials together. And you can see that Pn is not closed under multiplication of polynomials because um, you can have uh, the, the degree double, right? If you take the fifth degree polynomials and, and the x5 term multiplied against the x5 term gives you an x10 term. So it would not be closed in any way under multiplication. But we're not talking about that. This is just a linear algebra class. So we're just looking at addition and scalar multiplication. And insofar as just those two operations are concerned, uh, you really can't tell the difference between Pn and Rn plus 1. It's just a different way of writing it down. As a consequence, mathematicians have come up with a special symbol uh, for this. And they say Pn and Rn plus 1 are isomorphic, shown with an equal sign with the, uh, the curly bar on top.